Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another Marvel Legends figure review and today we have in front of us finally the 20 years Captain America celebrating the 20 years that had been since the beginning of Marvel Legends and this was one of the figures from series 1 back then yeah I wasn't collecting Marvel Legends back then but I do now since a couple of years and I really I'm glad that we have a like a really bright blue Captain America that's that's how I see this character and I guess almost everybody who has I mean who loves the comics and all of that and yeah I also needed to have this one needed I wanted to have this one because as I said in one video I don't remember when I want to collect all the characters that appear in the video game Captain America and the Avengers from the early 90s which was an arcade uh, Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo game so that's the figure reversible backdrop decor reversible decorado reversible doppelseitige Hintergrund y scenario dupla fase <laughs> I don't know I think that's Portuguese maybe I don't know Mm, I don't speak Portuguese, so I was just making it out, but it's close to Spanish, so... And there you can see what you get is Captain America, the shield, the effects, covering the holes on the shield, and this backdrop. For 20 years, the Marvel Legends series had brought the iconic characters and storylines of the Marvel Universe to fans worldwide to celebrate the 2002 Toy Biz debut release. Marvel Legends proudly presents the 20th Anniversary Series 1, featuring Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk and Toad, which people are looking forward to. I don't know. I will only look forward to if the figure looks good because yeah And here it is the Captain America 20 years anniversary figure looking great actually and with everything it comes with which are this head and the uh, well unmasked cowl this effect part like for a slash or something like that re like bullet effect parts I mean like bullet uh, clash you have this pointing hand and this like uh, slapping hand like a saluting hand or something like that and you have this open hands like shield throwing hands or like warning you know like expression hands but it's like when it's Captain America you think about throwing the shield you know and all the hands have a very nice wash I don't know if it's a normal wash or if it's like a some kind of digitally applied paint he also comes with of course with his shield and this further effect this like lightning or electric like he stops some lightning or some yeah some bolt coming his way you can just remove it like this be careful I mean check where the spots are and pull it from there and he comes with this stand with the old Marvel Legends logo or the vintage or whatever you call this uh, the first logo for Marvel Legends oh and in case you were searching for this these were there uh, it's just black plastic and yeah would be great to have something like this it doesn't have to be this logo but if every figure came with a stand would be great Hasbro and here you have this image the origin of Captain America I mean something like that and this is reminiscent to the diorama piece that came with that original release and you can of course just mount it like this whichever you prefer I find this like more like a studio display and this is more like I don't know I think I tend to like this more it's just more colorful and it's like you can have the character all by himself just like this so the Captain America comes of course with a shield which happens to be larger than the previous released shields at least larger than this one from this is from Vance Astro from the Titus build a figure wave you can see it's significantly this one is significantly larger but it has those holes and they didn't include anything to cover them or a second shield it's a uh, yeah I mean I think for the price point it would have been no problem throwing in a complete shield I guess I would say you know 
you can of course then turn this thing and I brought this piece from the 80 years anniversary Captain America you can just easy and in case you are asking yourself yeah the reds are different from the 80 years Captain America and the this one the 20 years celebration or whatever in case you want to see how that would look we'll, we'll, say, we'll check that later in any case he comes also with these straps which are removable like the shield harness or whatever it's called you just have to position the hand something like this that you can just pull everything backwards and that's of course a flexible plastic it's not super flexible but it's flexible I mean it's not as, as flexible as this or yeah but it, it's flexible that's what I mean I mean but you don't want to yeah to ply it you know but yeah it has a hole of course to mount the shield on the back of Captain America which is this, the very same mold as the 80 years anniversary the Alex Ross one you know we also want to take a look at this Steve Rogers face I think it looks good well it is a nicely sculpted face and the painting is uh, like this photo reel so digitally applied here you can see also the the face of the actual cowled cap I mean the amount of detail, well, not the amount of detail but how I mean this is such an improvement to let me bring this guy in this is the better head of my well the, the head I like better from the 80 years anniversary Captain America and I mean I really like this figure but yeah this is the one you know this is the the one we have been waiting for I would say and yeah this shield is the same as Van Sastro's in size so it's of course also smaller than the new one yeah so you can of course also give this harness to the 80 years Captain America articulation wise the head is on a ball disc so you can he can look all the way up he can look all the way down uh, he has I mean the head is it sits nicely but it has a bit of a yeah it's not like totally flush you know but he due to that he can he has some nice tilt so you yeah he can do stuff there and of course he can turn all the way around but why would you do that um, the arms can go all the way around of course and that's a nice click there and it feels much more yeah it has much more resistance than the at least than my copy of the 80 years anniversary which is great but it's just a bit too easy to move the arms there this one has much more friction to it I don't know why he had he has some blue paint there um, the shoulders can go over 90 degrees so he can do T pose plus <laughs> he has a bicep swivel you can turn the arms all the way around easily you have double jointed elbows these are pre pinless technology let's say like that uh, but yeah and, and again the, the the sculpted gloves here yeah allow for just that much bend a bit of a shame but I mean the figure looks really good but yeah that would be nice if they would had had found another way to sculpt this that doesn't get in the way he could have 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 had one more click i guess the, now you can see also the the scales have actual light blue accents so he yeah this shoulder is a bit of a misfire mis i mean the print was a bit like this other shoulder is much better and the torso is is good so that's the most important I mean everything is important because you won't get another shoulder if you don't buy another figure you know but yeah also for the mid torso here you can see he has some shading which is very cool to see nothing of that for the legs which is a bit of a shame but he has again some detailing on the boots 
and on the gloves again of course you have one click to the front of the of that app, app crunch you have one click backwards yeah and that opens all the chest cavity there but yeah it's just the way it is he can the waist can go all the way around the belt is a floating piece but you don't want to i mean you need it to be there to be able to move the waist the yeah it's a shame that they didn't fix this he has just that much um split which is i mean it's captain america you know he should be able to kick all the way sideways i mean, I mean he's not a ninja but he's a fighter i don't know the, what his uh, discipline is or are but he does all the gymnastics and all of that and this is not captain america should be all the way i mean the there's some Iron Man figures that, that do the full splits and that guy is wearing armor. It's unacceptable to have this thing in Captain America. It just that uh, that's not in that's yeah, it's such a limitation for this character. The thigh cut can go all the way around, of course, but yeah, you also wouldn't do that, I guess. He can kick forward all all the way and you can adjust the boots so yeah, it doesn't have to look like this, but like this, or you can also adjust, of course, the hip, the, the, yeah, that thing. He can kick back, well, he can, the leg can go back that far, maybe a little bit. He can kick back that far, well, the, the double jointed knees, which are also not pinless. Uh, he has a boot cut. He has, a, yeah, the feet can go backwards that far forward that far and if you yeah do, do, do. and he has a decent ankle pivot not the best but it's a rather good one so that's how he looks with the steve rogers head on well he's steve rogers actually <laughs> and yeah that that looks really really good as well and you have the cowl here i mean it's off uh, but it's dancing there but I mean it, this is more like to stay there but well, you, yeah. I mean it's a nice piece to have it's really nice that they included a piece like this you can then also give him the shield of course you would have to play with the positioning of the shield so that you don't see the holes I mean I can see them from my perspective up there but it's not showing in the camera yeah that looks amazing just wanted to show that you can perfectly put this head on the 80 years anniversary Captain America and surely in many other bodies, but we're staying within the Captain America. In case you were asking yourself, how will this hand fit? Well, it fits like that. That's the new shield with the effect and Thanos is, well, in my opinion, he's like deflecting it with his knuckles there. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and as well how he's standing he's standing with the well he could be st standing with his own stand this figure could but it would give him a lot of height but uh, yeah I, I'm using the very simple and useful stand included in my McFarlane toys from that flash I also reviewed the golden one or it's coming the review anyway it's from a McFarlane DC multiverse figure and because I don't know how much would this cost to include in every Marvel Legends something like this a couple of cents I don't know but I don't think it's much right there you have him fending off Baron Simo's sword running towards a uh, Hydra Viper I mean Cobra uh, yeah Hydra Viper <laughs> and let's say training with Thor and there you have him in his own stand or the stand he comes with with one of the backdrops and this is how he would look if you just turn it around now for comparison there you have him next to the 80 years anniversary Captain America you can decide which one you like more uh, yeah I tend to be to this one just the color makes the difference the head sculpt is just better, I would say. 
this is a great figure and I mean this is the predecessor of this one but yeah I'm gonna keep both and I still love this guy and I love also the metallic look on the that metallic paint on the chest there you have the 20 years anniversary Captain America next to the 80 years Iron Man and the 80 years Thor. There you have him next to some of his main antagonists. Next to Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, the new one, the classic Doctor Strange and Captain Carter. Next to Tigra, the Black Widow, the Wasp and the Scarlet Witch. And next to modular Iron Man, War Machine and Hercules. So, I hope this was an entertaining review and that it was useful to, for you to decide if you want to get this figure. I think you should get him. Is the, the version of Captain America you want to have. And I just really enjoyed it. The only thing I didn't enjoy was like paying almost twice. I mean he's here in europe you i paid 40 no, 40 like 39 euros and that was already with a little discount because the price tag is like 42 or 43 something like that which is yeah i mean it's a lot for a figure that has been done already he, he has a lot of accessories and all of that but uh yeah still like is here is more like the difference is over 10 euro to the previous release or something like that it's just a bit too much in my opinion but the figure is really good so i was like uh, i paid it <laughs> that's it anyway it's a great figure the leg articulation could be better the hips you know definitely could be better i mean this iron man has can do the splits and captain america can't you know what's that i don't know so please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one, ciao ciao ciao!